All right, Shalom, I'm Mike, and first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham, Racha, Kodash. I'd like to give double honors to the Pots and Elders of Great Millstone. I'd like to say Shalom to the elect that teaches the word in our true faith and sincerity. And yeah, today, I just want to tell this lesson. Reality check. America is through. And uh, pretty much I got this article, which the video is not based around this article, but just to point out that, you know, out of everything that's going on on the planet Earth, motherfuckers talking about this. Not knowing reality is about to sit in pretty soon. The money is about to crash. All hell about to break loose. It's about to be a great famine that's about to fall upon America. And a plethora of other places is about to take place, man. You know, and you got motherfuckers actually debating, you know, should little boys get their rod chopped off. So, uh, and it just further proves also that the Lord is going to destroy America, man. You know, I tell you, Solomon Gomorrah was left for an example, for an example to those that after should live on God. So, to let you know, that was just. Solomon and Gomorrah was just a prelude of what's going to take place on a bigger scale, especially here in America, you know. So this is from RT News, and uh, it reads, it came out today, it reads, parents shouldn't have a veto, shouldn't have a veto on children's trans medical decisions. Should we let the kids smoke and drink too? So as you can see, mothers actually rain things into laws and legislation. That's why the word veto is there, because this is about to become law you know but you actually got motherfuckers reduced to debating about trans children it says uh let's see yeah let's get a little bit of it. it says a permanent medical journal has argued that the children as young as 12 should be treated as equal parties in decisions related to transitioning this is a blatant case of political gender ideology trumping ethics. See? And then let you know we're in that low land, that valley, where morals is not here. There's no morals here. You know? Ain't no morals here, man. It said it's against the law for children to purchase alcohol or cigarettes in almost every country on earth. And for good reason. We know these substances can be harmful and we protect them from exposure to them. This is hardly controversial, not even to the most ardent libertarians who can campaign for the rights of five-year-olds to get drunk. It says, yet, when it comes to handing out puberty-blocking hormones, medi medication that prevents the biological changes that come with adolescence, the debate never seems to stop. See why? Because we're in America. We're in a land of confusion, man. Just going. You see, the confusion in itself. They, they, they block you from buying cigarettes, even though that shit out. But they, they will give you a grant. You know, they will promote you to, to transition. Now it's a coin toss if you're gonna step down on this woman because you don't know if it's a nigga, man. You know, it says, um, some argue it should be down to children themselves to decide whether they want to take body, body altering medication, but this would be a reckless ab abdication of adult responsibility. But just going back, it's, it's not about the article, just letting you know that. Just point out that you, you got motherfuckers talking about this instead of what's really going on. So, I got this word. Reality check, just a regular Google definition. And it says, an occasion on which one is reminded of the state of things in the real world. See? See, reality is about to set in for a lot of people, man. They they, they got other shit in mind. You know, you got niggas thinking about the finals and baseball seats, whatever, just anything to keep you from reality. Was going to be a point in time where the things that's spoken of in the scriptures will come to life. And everybody going to know about it. Everybody's going to be affected one way, form, or fashion. 
you know. So let's start out with this in the book of Surah 36. Ecclesiastes Surah 36, and I start at 1. Have mercy upon us, O Lord, power all, and behold us. And send thy fear upon all the nations that seek not after thee. See? So how the Lord's going to send that fear? It starts by the way it is message first. Then it plays out. See, the Lord, the Lord sent forth death threats by the way of the prophets, man. You know, the message comes, then it happens. So the Lord's going to send that fear to the ones that seek not after him. And that's even closing two-thirds of our people, man. Because they follow in the flame, same footsteps as this devil. You know. It says, lift up thy hand against the strange nation. See, and this is the strange nation, the strangest of all, the so-called white man. As you can see, just that was a that's a strange debate that's, that we just read about. Should they smoke too and drink since they're getting their rod chopped off as well? They got the they got the power and the reins and the decision to do that. So this is strange, just that's just scratching the surface. And this is how y'all by Shmuel Shah gonna sell himself strange. Matter of fact, let's get this real quick in the book of Psalms. Psalm chapter 18, verse 26. It says, With the pure that will show thyself pure. See? And oh, that's why I teach you that in um in Titus, until the pure, all things are pure. You know, and it starts with the mind. You know, so the Lord's going to present himself pure unto the pure. It says, and with the forward, that will show thyself forward, see? So with the forward, start with the so-called white man spearheaded by that nigga. Forward going into perverseness. He's perverse at his height. He's, he's perverseness and forward embodied. So that's how the Lord's going to, going to show himself. You know, that's why it's going to be strange as it's going to come upon America. This great family as you've never seen before. You know, plagues that you can never think of. Newly created beasts. You know, as well as other things. See, we don't really know how bad it's going to get, man. But we know it's going to be a time like no other. That's why it's going to be strange. Upon the strange. You know, so the Lord's going to send, uh, send, uh, show his power amongst the strange nations. So uh, it's going to be a major blackout. See, these things are coming, man. When people like to push that off, they want to look the other way. But you can't. You it's going to get a point in time. The ele the elephant in the room going to address you. You know, you ain't going to address the elephant in the room. Like somehow you going to say, you know what, man? We got to say something. We got to talk about it. No, the elephant in the room going to address you. The end is waiting on you. You know. So this is the book of Ecclesiastes, Sirach 36, verse 3 again. It says, lift up thy hand against the strange nations and let them see thy power. See? So this is how the Lord is going to show that. This is how the Lord is going to uh, show himself forward through that power. You know, plays that you can't explain offhand. Things that the, the human mind can't comprehend. That's what's about to take place, man. It says, As thou was sanctified in us before them, so be thou magnified among them before us. And they're going to see why we separated ourselves from uh, this world. Because we looking at this movie, like the brother Al Ram always say, through spiritual lenses. See, we looking at life. Uh, in, a, in a different aspect. You know, you can change the channel. You can watch Channel 44 and somebody else watch Channel 30. You know, you're seeing two different shows. you watching this, you looking at it through, you know, but it's going to get to the point where you're going to know why we was out down the highways and hedges, sad and diligently, Lord, we you know, to this thing. You're going to see why we refrain ourselves we walk a certain walk and they're gonna how they gonna know when those plays fall upon them when the famine actually take place somebody actually gotta fall in that lot when the sword 
the 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 the, the beast, the, the captivity, dealing with the concentration camps. All these things, all these things, uh, you know, somebody got to actually play that out, man. Somebody actually got to fall in that life. Somebody got to play that role, man. You know, but that's one reality they're going to say that. Matter of fact, it's young. It says, and let them know thee as we have known thee, see? That's why I said they knew not until the flood came. That's one reality said that. Matter of fact, let's get that real quick. Matter of fact, it ran high. Hold on, let's get some real quick. This is the book of St. Luke 17. And uh, Salakia is in the house. St. Luke 17, verse um, verse 26. It said, As it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. And what happened in the days of Noah? Judgment happened on a global scale. You know, judgment happened on a global scale. So this, once again, is about to take place. And in that, the teachings of Noah were strange, man, because it have never rained in that day. It t it points that out in the book of, uh, I believe that's Genesis, the second chapter. It, burnt, it it talks about the dew, and it points out that it never rained because that and it let you know it was gonna be a build up to that time. You know, well, uh, such who have heard such a message as rain coming from the sky. And he preached there for 120 years, and it took place. Reality actually set in. You know, out of all this wickedness they have done upon the planet Earth, and Noah told them the judgment, they just thought everything was just going to be, you know, how it was going to be. But reality set in. You know, and the flood came. It says, they eat, they did eat, they drank, they married wives. They were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. See? See, that's what's going to take place. This flood, which is going to be an overwhelming judgment. It's going to be an overwhelming presence of judgment to come upon uh, America, man. It really is... It, the world as a whole, the global, but especially here in America, this is the venue the Lord have chosen to show His power. This place right here, this land, you know, to that land of darkness, that place where the evil is sown, that's talking about America, man. So this is the main event where the Lord's gonna show His power, We're gonna throw the kitchen sink here, man. It says, likewise, also as it was in the days of Lot. See? Why? Because it's that judgment is going to happen on a global scale by the way that fire coming down from heaven. See, we still preaching about rain, but that rain is going to be by the way of fire, man. The thermonuclear, and that's when reality is going to really sit in for a lot of people. That's when their dreams and aspirations are going to go away. Their doctrine is going to end there. Oh, that's why I tell you, their eyes are going to consume away in their holes. That's when they're going to know that was, that's reality. When you see those missiles, you know, coming, you know, uh, covering the skies, man. You know, but it said likewise also as in the days of light. So that lets you know. Uh, and it, and, hey, we just point read the article dealing with these children, and they're transitioning, and, and going back into the days of light. It tells you there was young homos in that time as well. You know, so we, once again, in a time of wrath. Where the Lord is about to pour forth, pour out this judgment, man. Reality is about to set in for these people on the planet Earth. See, the channel is about to change. You've been watching Channel 30 this whole time. But then when that emergency broadcast come on, everybody going to be watching. See, you're going to be watching the very same thing we've been watching the whole time. You know? But for these people, their reaction, they're just going to fall apart. You know, so it says, um, it said, likewise, also, as it was in the days of Lot, they eat, they drink, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built it. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained, see, fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all, see. So that's once again is going to take place, man. 
You're going to know your how by a smell of shy. By the way, of the judgments that's about to take place. See, you're going to know about the real world, the real current state of America and this beast system, this whole vibration of the planet Earth when all hell break loose, man. Fuck the bane about motherfucker transition. Fuck the debate about who gonna win the championship next year. Or when the new joints come out. The only mission on, that's gonna be on these people's mind is what they gonna eat. Uh, what they gonna drink. You know, that's gonna be the that's gonna be the only two things that these people won't be focused on in that time, man. You know? So matter of fact, let's go back to um let's end it off on Surah 36. Surah chapter 36. Verse 5. It says, Let them know thee as we have known thee. That there is no power but only thou, O Yahweh by Smell Shah. And we know Yahweh Smell Shah is a terrible power, man. And he make himself known by the way of the judgments. You know. Noah, what happened in the times of Noah, the flood, Egypt, Sodom and Gomorrah. You know, just just a nigga dying in car accident. The Lord had a, a hand in that. He the one that sanctioned and signed off on it, man. So this is how these people gonna get to know you how about Shemel Shah when they get that reality check. You know, so yeah, I can I just hold it with Edifine. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Racha Kodash. I like to give double honors to the pastor and elders of Great Millstone. I like to say Shalom to the elect that teaches his word in our true faith and sincerity. DTA, Abba Baba. Soon, very soon.